Hello and welcome to All3DP's review of the Ultimaker 2. The Ultimaker 2 is a really well-built 3D printer. It came out first in September 2013 and since then it has provided all over the world a lot of high quality prints. So let's start the review. You find the display in front of the Ultimaker 2. It's very easy to read, simple to navigate, you just push and rotate the button. All the menu points are very easy to find. If you want to, you can find more complex options, but you have to search them sometimes, so you better get used to your printer. The extruder is equipped with two fans and a 0.4 mm nozzle. The fans are very quiet. The Ultimaker 2 is known to be one of the quietest printers, just 49 dB. The Ultimaker 2 build plate is just a glass plate. Ultimaker provides you with the PLA filament spool right out of the box. There is also a spool holder included, uh, which is mounted on the back and very easy to attach. Also, we have a glue stick, which is supposed to prepare for the glass plate, so you can easily, re easily remove the prints afterwards. First, you take the glass plate and put it on the heated build plate. Slide the glass plate over the build plate so it snaps into the metal clamps at the back of the build plate. Then you close the metal clamps in front and lock the glass plate in its position. This thingy is called the spool holder and it attaches to the back of the Ultimaker 2. You just take the spool holder, insert the top through the hole in the middle of the back. Now press it further down until it snaps into its place. The attaching filament guide works like a key lock. Uh, orientate it so that it will fit in the hole, put it in and rotate counterclockwise so that the little pins click into the tiny hole above. Place the filament spool above the spool holder. Make sure it rotates counterclockwise. Put it along the filament guide into the filament feeder. Choose the menu point Insert Material. Now the wheel in the material feeder will start rotating slowly. Take the filament and put it in the hole at the bottom of the material feeder. There's a small little tiny hole where it should go right in above the sticker. Follow the display instructions. You can continue the step when the material is loaded until it reaches the first Bowden tube clip. The filament is pulled through the transparent Bowden tube more quickly. Wait until the progress bar is full. So now the filament finally has access to the nozzle, so you click the button Continue. And now it's time to level the build plate. Choose Maintenance and Build Plate. So now it's time to crank it up. Turn the wheel until the build plate is just around one millimeter away from the nozzle and press continue. Rotate the left build plate screw under the build plate to control the height between the nozzle and the build plate. Now adjust the build plate screw on the right hand side. You repeat these steps until a piece of paper fits between the nozzle and the build plate. And now we are ready to print. Before printing, we have to consult a software which is called Cura. It's very intuitive, very easy to use, and it can be downloaded on the website of Ultimaker. There's a version for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. It's made for preparing your print. You can easily import any STL, object, DAE, or AMG files. Your model is shown in the middle of the interface. You can choose the quality of the print, the support structure, you can rotate the object, scale it, or mirror the object. So, now you have imported your files. Cura calculates the duration of the print, how much material is necessary, and the circa weight of the build. With this option, you can look inside your model and see the infill of your print. Now it gets interesting for professionals. There are many, many more advanced settings to improve the quilt build quality and to try out other filaments. Because what's very interesting, the Ultimaker 2 not only can print in PLA and, or ABS, but also can use thermoplastics like nylon or acrylic. Now press save to save your model onto your SD card. 
So let's start printing. That part is very easy. You just insert the SD card, then go to print, choose your model, and now the printing commences. After several hours, the print is finally ready. First of all, let the build plate cool down a little. You don't want to get burned. Then remove the glass plate and detach the print. Let's take a look at the quality. We really enjoy the quality the Ultimaker provides. Our resume is clear. The Ultimaker is one of the best 3D printers around. It's made for prosumers. It's perfect for pretty much any skill level. It provides very good quality prints and it's easy to use and leaves many many features open for detail setting. So if you want to experiment and want to have a very 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 good 3D printer, this is the one to buy. If you consider buying another 3D printer, please take a look at all 3DP's printer reviews, an example, the Zortrax M200. Thank you.